Now, there's always something going on in the royal household, and this week has been no different. A series of official portraits from the coronation have been released, with one image depicting Charles, William and George. Members of the public have dubbed this image We Three Kings. Now, that's as Bridgerton star Ajwa Ando commented on the royal family's balcony appearance during the coronation, describing it as terribly white. Every Sunday, we love to give you a rundown. Who better to do so than Angela Levin, royal biographer. Angela, welcome. Hello, thank you very much. Nice, nice um, to see I you. I thought the um, photographs were stunning mm. that came out today, where you had the three kings, one for the future, in the future, and you had all the people who were helping holding the, the, the trails and mm. things like that. But I felt that the one that came out first, I thought it should come out last, actually, was sort of quite elderly. Mm. There were several in their late 80s and several in their 70s, and I thought it looked that the, the, the coronation would be you know, the end of it all, because there were so many older people. So I was absolutely delighted. I was sad about that. And then absolutely delighted when they had um, young George there, who was on a step above everybody else. But he actually had a very natural smile, mm. and he was much more confident. And his father was a prince... William was very confident as well, and it looked wonderful. And the way they sort of took the tails, as it were, down the steps, I thought was absolutely lovely, brilliant. And it? they're treasured, actually. I think they're wonderful. Yeah. And so much happiness after it was all over, and they'd come through without any terrible errors or people doing something they didn't like. I, oh, think I thought the great. picture was lovely. I love the, the purples in there. I was thinking to myself, yeah. I want to dress in that colour. Yes. <laughs> but that sort of lovely train that's sort of coming out from that gown. Yeah. Now, what about um, Adwa Ando? She made that comment on the balcony, she said it was yeah. terribly white. She did that on ITV's coverage. She was one of the pundits. Nobody pulled her up on it at all. No, in fact, they said the next day, mm. oh, no, have, nobody's upset about it. Well, I was very upset about it, actually, because if you have a white family, what are you supposed to do? Just hire somebody to stand there with you or, or bring someone in who's actually <laughs> not your... Not the blood, mm. no, don't know, just because you should have someone of colour there. I mean, it's a ludicrous thing to say. And I think, as you said earlier, that actually you can't say the same thing if it was like the Obamas and say, mm. well, actually, you've got to have a white daughter there or you've got to have you know i mean it was just beyond understanding and the fact that it sailed through on itv i thought was absolutely terrible and insulting to us all because you don't want to just choose any old person because you've got to follow the rules I well clearly that's what they did having her there to comment on it because what she said thought, there was pretty ridiculous i thought that was odd and uh, she should odd. probably stick to acting i thought that was odd as well because just because she was a queen in a TV programme doesn't make it right that she was there to talk about the royals. Well, I mean, it would it have been nice. A phony, Listen, I would have been happy for choice. her to be there. I would have been happy for her to be there. But unfortunately, I don't really want to hear somebody forcing me to look at everything as a race thing. I mean, yes. you know, it's just a balcony with the king and his family there, uh, the, the closest royals who are the closest to the throne. That's what I expect to see. I'm expecting to see the king and the queen and some yeah. close royals. It's a very they, bad way to go around relevant, to see everyone it? as, you know, in a racist light. Could you imagine it's she'll come to the room and go, oh, there's only three black people and one person <laughs> that. I mean, this is just so ridiculous. It's yes. ridiculous, isn't it? Any yeah. other things that we've got going on with the royals? Yes, um, just why Queen Camilla mm. is not very popular. Yes, she only got 39% in the popularity rate, which was above Harry and Meghan, but not very much. And I think the reason is that she's one of those people, the more you know her, the more you like her. She doesn't like to be in the spotlight, so you don't get to know her so easily. Mm. And she's there with King Charles to support him. She doesn't want to take the limelight. But when you come to her doing the engagements that she cares about, like mm. literacy and domestic violence, she's incredibly powerful. She's also very funny. She's not a snob. She likes people. She really wants to hear people's stories, any age, any type. And I hope that now she's settling in. She's just perfect, isn't she? She will be, um, you know, liked more and more. I mean, I spent over a year with her and I thought that she was... Terrific. And well, you've about, written a book about her, haven't you? Yeah, my book. But listen, before we go, I've got to ask you about, got about, ask you about Yuri, because Yuri Geller's coming yeah, on in a few moments' time. I, I had, and you've actually had an experience. I had an experience with him. Yes. I had to go and interview him. I 
took my spoon, but I put it in an envelope before I went there mm -hmm. so that nobody could steal it from my handbag mm -hmm. while I was there talking to him. Mm -hmm. And he managed to bend it in the envelope. Really? More, Did, was he touching it or was it no, in no, the envelope? No, 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 Not even, no. Wow. Um, more than that, he asked me to do a drawing and he would guess what it was. So I started with the house because I'm not an artist. I did a house and I thought, oh, no, I don't want a house. So I did a cat. Mm. And he said, ah, you're drawing. He said, it's, it's a house. No, it isn't. You crossed it out and then you did a cat. Wow. I was Angela. completely overwhelmed. Well, listen, Angela Levin, thank Nobody you so much. Nobody could believe that. Nobody could believe that. But